Hello Taurus, welcome to your December 2019 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Before we get started, I just wanted to alert you to the fact that I've got my 2020 yearly forecasts out and the link for those are below in the descriptions box, so please do check those out when you have a second. All right, let's get started Taurus, December. No need to fear. You know, I'm loving this reading already because I have to I have to go I have to go here first. I have to. I mean, look what came out for you. They jumped out at me, both of them. The loving woman and the loving man, they came out at the same time. This is from the Quantum Oracle. It's tender-hearted masculine energy and tender-hearted feminine energy. So it may signal a new connection coming into your life or a deepening of a, an existing relationship. But it's beautiful energy, this man holding his bouquet of flowers, walking on this path. It's compassionate energy, it's down to earth, the beginning of something new or the deepening of a present love. There's an open-heartedness to here and a, a deservedness as well, something that stirs the soul and fills your life with companionship and purpose. So you could be this man or you could be this woman, but I do feel that there is an important relationship either on the horizon here or it's, it's coming into uh, to being in December. Now, no need to fear tells me that there is a need for courage, uh, bravery. The energy around this is if we find ourselves in unfamiliar circumstances, Taurus, we can tend to feel fearful, doubtful, maybe even intimidated. That's for some of you. Nervous, yes, absolutely. Appeasing and perhaps even diminished. But despite the strangeness of what is about, this card is here to remind you of your substance, your power and your right to be assertive. So if there's any kind of uh, feeling frightened or uh, perhaps doubtful at the moment, you may have forgotten just how much energy you have within you, Taurus. Rationally, of course, you have nothing to be frightened of. So take a moment to remind yourself of the power within you and uh, con confront what it is that perhaps you've been hiding from. So there's an energy here of uh, feeling intimidated or fearful, but without need. There's a need for you to pluck up your courage and move forward with confidence, especially if this is out there, Taurus. You don't want to miss out on this energy. Now, the person around you, the energy that came up around them from Wisdom of the Hidden Realms is that of the Well Watcher. It speaks of wisdom and the power of the divine. So the Well Watcher signals the need to go within, to contemplate true source of power, which, of course, is that of the divine. So it's a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, so to speak. And this unseen power will be there. And uh, you're, being, you're, you're coming into alignment with this power. The affirmation of this will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. So Taurus, you'll know the way forward by that voice within, your intuition. The divine also may answer your call by sending signs and it could be even in relation to this person. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the, where this goes for you, Taurus. I'll start the reading. We have you at the bottom of the deck. I uh, could be talking to a male here, so if you're cross-watching for a Taurus male, this uh, may be significant, but let's, let's take a look. The energy around Taurus here for the month of December. The energy around Taurus. The energy around Taurus, please, for the month of December 2019. Okay. Okay, Taurus, let's take a look. 
I'm going to put this as the overall energy just because it's so amazing that it popped out at the same time together like that. The Hanged Man in Reverse. Okay. So I do feel that there's an energy of being put in, in limbo, something being put on hold, Taurus. Is it you putting someone on hold or is it vice versa though? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. It tells me that something that is destined to be is being put on hold. Taurus, it's either you doing that, maybe out of fear. I get it's you, actually. I get a very strong energy around the male energy here. So whoever is the, the, uh, the, the, the divine masculine energy around this, that's the, that's the thing that is kind of holding back, the energy that's holding back here. The two of pentacles in reverse. Because they have to, to make a decision. They're still juggling at the moment. There's an energy around this Taurian of needing to come to grips with something. They haven't got their, their head around it. They seem to have some kind of understanding that this, this may be a power that is greater than, than them, but th there's a f sense of fear around that as well because it's not something that people experience very often in life. I feel that this is a uh, very much a, a a soulmate or a twin flame kind of relationship where one person here is in denial, denying the importance of the relationship, holding back, withholding, uh, not taking advantage of this, this what is destined or what's being put in front of them here by the divine. Yeah. And if they're not careful, I get the, the sense that they may miss the boat here, so to speak. I get this as a, a missed opportunity, a failure. Mm. The thing is, something's being handed to this Taurian. It's a gift from the universe. I mean, look at this. The opportunity to have a loving relationship in your life. I get unconditional love. This is the kind of love that will stand the test of time. Maybe that's the problem here, that this, there's a lack of vision. There's a lack of foresight of how important this is. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So Taurus, it could be around a fire sign. Male or female, I have a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo here at the moment. So the energy around this is uh, around this other person. This is the divine feminine energy, of course. Is receptive energy, yielding, yielding. So I think that you're putting this person on hold. And I feel for some Taurians, they do think that this person will wait for them. I'm wondering though, if that's not if that is true, mm. the Ten of Cups, I mean, this is that relationship that will stand the test of time. This is that forever relationship, true emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy, uh, being around like-minded people, getting on well, a sense of harmony and purpose in life, and yet, uh, and yet it's being placed on the back burner. The Page of Swords, it may just be a question of feeling ready, not feeling ready, feeling like they have to do something else first before they make this decision. So it's, it tells me that they, this is someone who's got a, a couple of things on the go at the moment. Could be a couple of people, but it doesn't have to be. Just could be two ways of life. Perhaps they just haven't made a decision yet on what they want to do moving forward with their life, this lack of vision. But I do feel that they're, if they're waiting for the, the time to be ready, I get that the time is now. Why do I feel that is because if we wait, if we hold back until we're ready, well, it, it, we, we, we tend to just kind of miss the opportunity because that that time never comes Taurus 
what do we have here? Yeah, there's that fear, entrapment, holding yourself back. It's a lot of negativity around this Taurus. Keeping yourself stuck at the same time as keeping this relationship on hold or on the back burner. Not giving to it. You know, it, the thing is this this is a gift from the universe something that you're receiving but I feel that you're closed off this kind of closed off energy around this Taurian but of course it can be vice versa of course a sense of not being ready to receive this gift of it's not the right time yeah seven of wands you, you're very defensive here you, you're trying to to say no 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 that no that's not it that's not it and I'm wondering what what the issue is here. It, it seems like there's an opportunity being given to you by the, the, the divine, the universe. It's going to lead to this. It's going to lead to emotional harmony and satisfaction. And yet you can't see it or you don't want to see it. And so it's just kind of in limbo here in the month of December. Because I get you are juggling something else, possibly another relationship, which you need to get clarity about, find out what it is that you're doing, I think, Taurus. A lot of fear around you, and there's a sense of being intimidated just by the whole thing. It might just feel like it's too much energy. And there's a sense here of being, being resistant, being resistant to opening up on a, an emotional level around this particular person or just in general. So let's see. I'll do the, uh, the dual reading here, Taurus, and then we'll move on to the extended. So bear with me for a moment. Your energy, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel that you just don't know what you're doing at the present time, uh, Taurus. You've got kind of an inkling that something is around you, something important, a chance at an important relationship, an important person in your life, and yet there's a holding back. Yet there's a uh, unwillingness to... To recognize a, uh, a connection, a spiritual connection, maybe a past life connection, a fear of change also. And for the other person, let's get their energy, the person that you're dealing with, their energy towards you, Taurus, the person that Taurus is dealing with, their energy towards Taurus, the energy of the person that Taurus is dealing with, their energy towards Taurus, okay. Let's get started. Past energy in relation to this, where you currently stand regarding this situation, where you hope to stand in this situation, how you're viewing this person, what are your doubts and fears about this situation, what challenge do you have to overcome, and the outcome and uh, let's get the other person. At the bottom of their deck, they have the Hierophant, which is your card, Taurus. Remember, this: the energies can be vice versa, so whatever side resonates the most with you, Taurus, that's your message. Past energy around this for, this, for the person that you're dealing with. Their current energy around the situation, where they hope to stand with this in the future. How they're viewing you, Taurus. We'll take a look and see what their doubts and fears are. What challenge do they need to overcome? And the outcome. Let's take a look. We've got the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm, okay. It's an interesting energy. You know, I get for the other person that in the past they haven't recognized this. So there may be some kind of awakening happening. They didn't recognize 
you, I think, Taurus. They, they, you've, you may have felt overlooked by this particular individual. The Knight of Swords in reverse is your energy. I do think that you have viewed this as something that was missed out on, that was in the past, something that is here and gone, that you can't go back to or that you, you won't be able to get back into your life. Where you currently stand, wow, look at this, the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So here's that Ace being handed to you by the Divine. It is a divinely guided relationship. We have the power of the divine around this other person with the, the, the well watcher there. So the timing is right, right now for you to take advantage of bringing forth something new into your life that has, a, it's very powerful energy. I'm getting a sense of it's new, but it's old meaning you've known this person before in some capacity it's not an ex let me just say that it's not an ex lover or an ex partner but it, you have known this person before it may have just been a friend an associate someone that you worked with it could have even just been someone on the periphery I also get a feeling that for some of you it's past life connection as well so there's a recognition of that with the Wheel of Fortune but this is destined and I feel that where this person may have you may have been gone unrecognized in the past they're now realizing well, there's this waking up if you will the light bulbs turned on the four of wands and the chariot so look at this you both seem to to want harmony with one another the person here has the chariot so they are set on their life course they've chosen a direction and I feel that they choose you Taurus you do want to settle down you do want to have harmony with this person you may even want to settle down and, uh, and be married or have a committed partnership something like a uh, a marriage how you're viewing them well look at this I mean look the ten of cups again this is a very beautiful energy I mean, look we've got the ace we've got the four of wands we've got the ten of cups on it goodness me it's destined this is amazing energy so what are you waiting for Taurus I mean you know grab it grab this ace and, and go with it I mean you see this as you're happily ever after how they're seeing you well at the moment they're they're not seeing much at all because I, I do feel that you're not communicating how you feel but at the same time I don't think this person is communicating how they feel to you either so there's a lot of things that are unknown and you're a bit of a mystery to this person uh, they're a bit of a mystery to you but at the same time it's like you know that this is going to be your life partner your doubts and fears here's the fears that I had at the the other reading the seven of wands so you're so fearful you're you you're resisting this you're resisting it saying no 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 I'm not ready and there's this energy of you fearing fearing this this connection you know with the energy of, of there being no need to fear though Taurus the thing is you have to remember that this is not it, I think that you're fearing that this is not going to I have it as you it, it's lessening your power you fear it's going to lessen your power it's not I feel that you will retain a powerful feeling others cannot harm you because you are strong so there's an essence here of, of perhaps fearing being hurt fear of uh, rejection fear of something here that is greater than you their doubts and fears the king of cups in reverse i have that as your energy they're fearing uh, your emotional instability 
uh, again I get a kind of a feeling closed off not opening up on an emotional level detached I get a detachment from your emotions so not not sharing not being open with this person Taurus your challenge here is the hermit so for you it's it's important at the moment to spend some time doing that uh, self-analysis thinking about the situation thinking about your life and your life purpose and where you want it to go in the future if you've been distracting yourself with uh, anything could be work could be pleasure I feel that you need to take your time away from that even away from the mobile phones and, and all of that as well just for a little while so you can come to terms with that inner voice within because the well watcher here tells me that there is a gut feeling an intuitive energy that you have around this situation you know for some of you for some of you you seem to be showing your attention everywhere but where you should be showing attention to i get that from spirit it's like you your focus here is so resistant to this situation with this person that you'd rather show attention to like two other people that you know are not not the right people for you rather than this one because of this fear the challenge for the other person is the eight of cups in reverse so for them it's not to, it's not running away it's not being fearful of change yeah I do get that this other person is isn't sure what's going on I get a lot of confused emotions around that individual they may have to leave something behind in order to come towards you I actually feel though that this is someone who again I get I get fear on both sides it's like knowing this connection is so strong on some kind of intuitive level and being fearful of actually getting together and 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 getting the reward getting the results the ten of pentacles so this is your your forever relationship and the outcome for the other person is the five of wands in reverse so it's it's around this other individual I think that they've been fighting this for a very long time they failed to recognize you in the past as their soulmate or their, their twin flame here that's changed though I feel like they have been awakened so to speak they have received the the information they're unsure what to do with it though they're still a little bit confused because it's new they have been conflicted and they also are fearing what's going on with you because I get an essence of that uh, you may be seeing other people Taurus mm. or one other person at least and there's a, a fear around that you know not wanting to not wanting to be in competition with with others mm but nevertheless I see that this is is going somewhere it is but the problem that I see at the moment is that you're not aligning together out both out of fear it's a very powerful energy around you and therefore it's taking some time to adjust adjust to how this feels because it doesn't feel like anything else it feels well it feels bigger it feels more than anything else you've had in your life here Taurus and that can be quite intimidating but so one thing's for certain you certainly don't want to miss out on this connection because it's a beautiful thing 
So Taurus, I'm going to continue this in the extended. I do hope that you continue to join me there if this is resonating. The link is below in the descriptions box and that will be on the Vimeo channel. It'll be about another 30 minute or so reading. I'll be clarifying everything on the table, also pulling out some uh, oracles as well to see where this goes. So please do join me if this one is resonant with you. If you would prefer a personal reading, of course, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. Thank you, Taurus. Uh, don't forget those 2020 yearly forecasts are out too. The link for those are below in the descriptions box. Uh, take care, guys. Uh, happy holidays if I don't speak to you before. And bye for now. I'll see you in part two.